devices with such symptoms. So today we are delighted to have a team of researchers from Brazil to give say, a set of short talks, which is mainly about fun logic and decision making with applications to different areas. And they say, so, so they are also very keen to build some joint research with, uh, say, with some collaboration with MBS and with, say, with us and also PhD students. So the room is open until five. So you are welcome to stay after the talks and they say to have some individual discussions and uh, the individual talk. Okay, so the house welcome say the session from very loud. So I would like to to thank you all to be here. Uh, thank you to the Ministry of Health that let me come here and I'm partially financially partly supported by the Ministry of Health. I'd like to thanks to the DCS research group that inserted this uh, presentation in their seminars and possibly we'll get more related and we'll produce more papers together. I'd like to thank my, su my, my supervisor here, Spavis Theodolidis, that is there. Uh, and all the audience that uh, are interested to make these connections with the first labs. With the Brazilian stuff, the Brazilian part, I would like to thank to University uh, Rio de Janeiro Federal University and the UFRJ uh, National Agency of uh, Innovation and the lab fuzzy, the, the guys that came here and they are from COPY and the foundation that supported them, uh, this uh, COPY Tech Foundation, foundation okay? And let's, uh, we will have a very short presentation from the <laughs> university, about the university, just to, to, to know how the groups is working there, which groups are, uh, uh, which university and what they do there. And then each uh, researcher will make a very short presentation uh, to, to, to bring an overview of their research here and then we open for questions and if you want uh, we can stay and just, just discuss about the possibility of inserting these models or these kind of insights uh, inside uh, your research so you can use that and we can make some connections Thank you very much, I'm very happy to be here for the invitation to make it uh, real because uh, we, we tried it one year ago and uh, we didn't have enough support to come uh, from President Porsche. Uh, as you know, we in this crossing crisis and this year, hopefully, we got the support of So, uh, okay, I'm going to present very fast about the WFRJ. Uh, we are the Brazilian University. Uh, we were the first one, and we got uh, a very large campus uh, in Janeiro, and we live in Rome, we the airport. And this building is from the central, the central administrative center, uh, it's an Oscar Niemeyer project. Uh, that's copy, copy is the, uh, the finger that touched the part of technology. And at Brazil, uh, UFRJ, and that's uh, founded in 1963, and have a very, uh, <coughs> it's very linked to Petrobras start the yeah, petrol yeah. Uh, exploration of Brazil, and we are the most important center of engineering research in, in education in Latin America, and uh, we have uh, this production annually uh, about. Uh, 200 doctoral degrees and 300 master's degrees uh, and over 2,000 scientific papers uh, produced. We are joined in 125 labs in 13 post-graduation programs. The last one, the nanotechnology program. We are from the industrial, uh, industrial uh, engineering program. Uh, the first logic is inside the industrial program and led by Carlos Alberto Cosenza uh, that had created uh, here in Cambridge the Cosenza model uh, developed with first logic for 
decision making uh, and also to uh, location, industrial location. Uh, here's a group who are over them, uh, more than 50 researchers uh, from a lot of uh, different skills, uh, not only industrial engineers, but the most of us are industrial engineers. And we are now starting a, a process of, uh, of interesting internationalization of physiology uh, laboratory. So this, uh, this seminar here is very important. And we are also uh, working with, uh, with the United States, with Timothy Haas, that uh, is a very important researcher, and in France with Felix Morakamin. And we've got uh, Apostle Silvopoulos from Greece too, that uh, work with fuzzy Turing machines. Uh, they have come to our university and stayed in So, in this case, uh, that brand products, they are all clothes, clothes, uh, fashion industry, and they have a mix, uh, more than 60 different items. So, uh, they have, uh, I described these products using some characteristics, uh, such as this desirability, color, price, versatility, modeling, performance, clarity, uniqueness, exclusivity, quality, comfort. Uh, and that utility factors uh, was describe the product, the product activities by own physiologic algorithms. So that's the main claim uh, to have the products uh, in the mix that are considered the hot and potatoes and the diamonds. So that's the limits. Uh, and how uh, we are not talking about if it is a, a, a diamond, but how it seems to be a diamond. So that grade is being treated using physiological ability. Uh, here's a demonstration of some of the attributes applied and some of the fuzzy sets. I don't think it's very clear to but I can talk with, uh, in details uh, after this presentation. And you utilize uh, also load fires <coughs> to, to balance and give weight to the settings. And here we've got the attractiveness index formed by the, the whole of uh, results. And uh, we, we established some intervals to define uh, if it, it's high attraction product, it must be here, and we got last results. said, I'm the same school, but now I'm a visiting PhD at Loughborough University, so I'll be there until the end of the year, and uh, any reason, I'll be there available for you for anything. So. <laughs> My, my, my project there is that my, I'm a visiting PhD student there, so my project for PhD is that. So that's what I call the airport perception index. But basically, uh, I'd like to make this introduction because why, why I start to look at the airports? Because uh, the, the end of uh, 2007, May, the growth of the rate of the airports, mainly in Brazil, but in the entire world, was like this, the trend was changed a lot. And we felt in Brazil uh, a lot of impact of this uh, uh, huge demand, and we had no infrastructure for that. So it was a little bit chaos in Brazil. But I say again, that's why not Brazil's case, it's the entire world. So if you fly, you can see that the label of the flag will be so full and full and full. Well, anyway, so I start to see that's why my main motivation. And I start to look at the beginning of my research uh, about what, what can I say? Can I try an operational excellence, excellence project? And I, how can I evaluate that? And I try, well, I need to see which stakeholders uh, are interested in the airports. And I found that that's what I put in a, that's what I, I highlight here the world was perception. Just casually. <laughs> Uh, I just, accidentally, uh, I just say, I just felt as oh, that's a kind of perception. And when, I, when I started perception, and the end up the airport perception indexes, 
translated in an uh, index. I saw that sort of close relationship between perception and fuzzy. That's, so that's perfect marriage between per perception and fuzzy. And I tell you why. Uh, that's a, that's a two, two different way to see, uh, to evaluate performance. And I say what perception is. I like to, to say everybody, sorry if I take a little bit, I, I didn't say that because you got to understand perception pretty well when I say this case. Uh, two, about two years ago, I don't know if everybody follows uh, football, uh, but Brazilian team, at least, what? I don't know now, after the German games. <laughs> but anyway, uh, about two years ago, Brazil was losing a lot of match. And the FIFA, FIFA, I don't know if everybody knows about FIFA, FIFA is the, the, the organization of football. And the FIFA ranked Brazil as 23rd position. <laughs> and how come? And that was a friendly game here in Europe, Brazil against Switzerland. At that time, Switzerland was pretty good. Because they did well in the Euro, Euro uh, uh, Cup tournament, Euro Cup. And Brazil, Switzerland was in seventh place. And if you went to the bet, bet stores, you know, like lead brokers, <laughs> kind of this, what the odds were too? Brazil or Switzerland? Brazil. <laughs> Why? If you see the rank of Brazil in the 23rd, Switzerland was the seventh. The perception, uh, in fact, is good because it's not a really thing that tells you what's going on, but tells you what is direction of what's going on. Uh, and I tell you that because uh, uh, I say that uh, I'm, I'm running one, this model, I'm running in Manchester Airport now to validate the model. And uh, when, I, when I first, first meeting I had with the guys here in Manchester Airport, when I say, the problem is, they, they showed me a lot of, a lot of uh, surveys, mainly with passengers, uh, but very strict on, on uh, Speed numbers, and uh, the, I told that story about the the, the football. So I said, so you must see what perception is because sometimes you have the number saying one thing, but not what the general knowledge think about what's what doing with. So that's the basic thing. Perception drives to strategies. That's what I like to keep this in mind. So. Basically, my quick way, my methodology, I start to, to do my methodology as I have a paper on the first case. Because after this, this research here in New Manchester, I changed, being off of it, in fact, I changed it a second way of the model. So I'm doing two, two models and I try to compare in the end of my, of my research. Uh, the first one was always using the, well, as somebody told here, the sensor model that I use a lot in Brazil in our lab first. Uh, that's uh, airport seven demanders and airport seven suppliers. The kind of supply and demand uh, that can use a lot of things. But uh, the first the first approach was like this. I want to describe very quickly, by very detailed. So what I can describe later, I, I just after this I, I show some 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 slides, but we very quick. Uh, but anyway, it's uh, <coughs> as a confrontation. Who provides service? against who uh, demand for service and uh, try, to, try to get perception about the confrontation of uh, supply But after here in Manchester, mm -hmm. I, learned, I learned that I could do a little bit more, another way to see the problem. That's why I took the, the both, the both uh, uh, approach. That's was that I'm doing here also. I noticed both, both, both strategies. But the perception of, and, and wait, I'll show a little bit the slide later, but of overall system, not confrontation, just with supply and demand. And then I'll get, I'll get the two results and compare it later. So that's running, it's still running. But anyway, the first one, just to understand, the first one using the Cockpit Sensor model developed in Brazil. Uh, basically, we have, this, uh, I can see here a little bit uh, light. Uh, have demand and supply, have the stakeholders demand and supply, so we have profiles for demand and supply, and then it is fuzzy logic for, 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 for the for measure these profiles and gets the perception, airport perception index. Just a little bit about the airport perception index. It's a, it's, you can measure just one airport, but if you have more than one airport in the same base, you can compare and make an index and, and a ranking 
among the airports. More than 90% of the surveys in the airport suggest for passengers. Another thing I realized is that airports do not concern only for passengers. They concern for a lot of people interested in the airport. They are concessionaires, sales provider, the business people, business uh, groups. For example, here, Merch is a good, good example for this. Everybody knows that Merch is a very competitive with Liverpool. So, uh, and the, the business people here, they are, they are very interested in the, the, the airport development, development of the airport uh, growth rate because, of course, as much as demand and supply is going to have <laughs> so, uh, this business man, they are interested in the airport perception too and how they, 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 they are going to. So, I, that's another thing that's very important. It employs, it's not just passengers interested in the airport. And you see, 90% of the, 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 the surveys and papers, they just say just passengers. And the first thing is to, to see which stakeholder you want to see, the attributes you want to choose, and put together confrontation, use it fuzzy, and uh, well, that's I like to describe better, but uh, I don't know if I'm writing those fuzzy here, but I can talk later. Confrontation matrices, and that the, 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 the stakeholders, the attributes, and alternatives, and then just in the end of the process, just rank them. That's why I call the airport perception index. In another way, in another way, the second approach that we like to say that is to collect data for <coughs> different kind of, 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 of data that you collect to. So in the, in the second second part of this, I, I understood in this, in this, uh, in this survey here in Manchester that you can use the model for anything. So that's what I'm trying to do now. It's a moderate and just for the airports. So I like the second way to do this because it's very, uh, uh, very uh, straightforward to see how perception reacts to. So what I do in this model, uh, the way to see the model, is uh, first collect data for four kind of purpose. First, profile identification, profile expertise. Uh, when, with the expertise, can you weight the, the perception of the people they are Doing, I'll, try, I'll, I'll show a little bit, uh, a little bit of the, the, the questionnaire survey. You can understand better when I say that. The attributes, perception, and weight, and the, and the overall perception and weight, like a modifier, a little bit like like the same work probably. So you can use the modifier uh, if you have the overall perception of the, the airport's uh, uh, suppliers, uh, service suppliers. Uh, okay, time. Finish. <laughs> Let's just see. This one, then, is kind of, I like to say that because it's not. I think it's not so clear. But you can see what 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 the, 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 this kind of model can, can be customized for everything you need. For example, the profile. So I can see which stakeholder I want to to, to talk with. That that's that's my case. But you can use any stakeholder you want to. So the, oh, another thing that's very important. This this requires a software to run that uh, well, will be developed, has been initially developed in, in, in R, in fact. But we can, because to customize this, you can put any stakeholder you want to. And the second part, you can I just pull up this. How can you, can, I, can, can you wait? Can you wait? Uh, the, 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 the informants, that I call the informants. Normally, you see the first techniques of experts, but I, I just change from front because everybody's part is important to say what this perception. Even though who goes to the airport once a year and there's a businessman that goes yeah. to the airport every yeah. time. Quickly, I don't show the empirical study, but uh, this, this study was conducted in Sao Paulo, Brazil, and Rio in Brazil, and now it's running in Manchester. And conclusions: this I don't read everything, but just to highlight three things. First, that's good to gather different kind of stakeholders when you see something. It's not go straight like the airport example here. Not to see just one kind of stakeholder that's passenger, but the broad uh, kind of stakeholders that implies in the subject you're studying to. Second thing is the models usable to free build to to to, to build. Uh, different scenarios. You can, can do different kind of matrix. 
And what's the most important thing that I said here, it's completely customized. So you can see, you can say, oh, I just want the stakeholder A, B, and C, or I just want B, C. So I can use these attributes or whatever. It's kind of to uh, custom. And the third thing, what I said here, the really important thing is to guide policies and strategies. So very quick, I will be able to talk a little bit more if you want. Thank you very much. And this is my my today. I can send presentation if anyone wants. some brains we have since when we were child seeing our mothers using them, like uh, milk stuff, like chocolate stuff, like some other things. So the main approach for using some kind of model that understand better this and it could be useful. So that's the beginning of the study. And price is just one of the, the, the attributes that we study there. And that's one of the last papers we published. And I bring them because uh, this, this brand, some of these brands, or the major part of these brands, are not uh, are not from here. But there's one that I found with this mark that you know very well. You know, with it's so uh, it's not uh, right here. very yeah. clear. But we have Omo here, basically for no? for for students that have dropped school or students. Uh, let me say, uh, students that. Uh, we're never never had the, the, the opportunity to, to go to, to a formal to have a, a formal education. education. Right. So it was to try to evaluate how this project affected the lives of the students in five different dimensions: in the individual uh, dimension of their lives, the relationship with their family, the professional lives, the social life, and the future, the expectations they will have uh, after the. the their education. We use uh, a fuzzy approach. So basically, uh, the idea was to, to make questions to the students. So the students would, will ans would answer the questions. Some questions would be like, uh, how did the, the project, how do you think the project affected, for instance, uh, your capability of getting a new job? Or how did the project affect affected how uh, you can relate to other people, can uh, communicate to other people. How did the project affect it? How, um, let me see, you, you can talk to your parents. Or So we made like 25 questions that were presented for, for, to the students. And we had to, since we, the Lab Fuzzy, we were not uh, uh, educational specialists, experts, we had to calibrate how these questions was were relating to each one of those those aspects of their lives. So we use professors, their teachers, their the the teachers, the coordinator, the the coordinator of the, the programs and the supervisors of the programs. So those were our experts who was sort of calibrating our our questions. But my contribution to this uh, contribution to this uh, criticism is to elaborate this kind of map. And here, similar to Luis' uh, uh, approach, I identified a lot of possibilities of identified the, the experts. As you should know, fuzzy uh, logic is, uh, is based on the experts' linguistics. The uh, other one is a worker that is resident and a regular user too. And uh, specialists, residents, regular users, so. Uh, and then, uh, in, the, in an interrogative way of dealing with these guys, not survey, but interaction, uh, that's why I'm talking about design thinking, uh, we can uh, keep a lot, of, a lot of reading information about economic issues, physical issues, Equivalentumental issues, cultural, and so on. Here we can graduate, and then in a in a 
uh, specificates which is the most important. And then uh, another form of like the, the data. And then uh, with this information, we can uh, focus for uh, trying to keep more information and to take a uh, decision in a project. Uh, in this case, a, politi a political project. I think it's that it's, uh, my presentation is about this uh, set of maps. And behind this, of the structure, right? Okay. <laughs> Sorry about the time. Yeah. 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 But we are in still. Yes. Now Ilan is going to talk about it. Yeah, no, I'm going to talk about my... No. So, I, the, the, the questions, uh, of course, if you have any questions, this is open. Uh, people who must leave, uh, it's okay, we know, that, we know that at a time. And we are here just uh, to answer and to discuss uh, every research if you want to talk about the possibilities of uh, inserting uh, parts of the model, some, some ideas that we have, or just making links and for further and for next year, for this year. So we are open for that, okay? Okay, I say something I think it's very important to us and also to others. Uh, we'd like to have a, a joint force for working papers, uh, not only use our uh, models, but uh, to design new models so we are open to this interaction mm -hmm. and we are 